What can you actually capture with your camera? Forget all the other equipment, just your camera. There are several types of phenomenon. Number one, which is very common, are orbs. They are balls of energy. I guarantee you, if you look through your photo albums right now, you'll find an orb. I can't guarantee you, but the possibility is great. It's a very common phenomenon. Um, another thing to understand is, you know, some people will say, uh, some experts that you already know about, and I won't mention any names, they'll say, oh, well, that's the, the energy of the soul. Well, you know what? That's not true. It's a possibility. But the bottom line is, it's all theorization. But when you capture an orb, it's a ball of energy. Now, another phenomenon you capture is called ectoplasm or ectomist, and it is literally, it looks like fog. Now, you might look at some of my photos on my website and say, well, that's just fog. Well, if you want me to send you the 20 photos beforehand that I took that are kept nothing going on, and all of a sudden, a tenth of a second, this fog comes in, well, it's impossible. But ectoplasm is very exciting to me. And it doesn't occur often. And in the ectoplasm, what you want to look at is you want to look for faces and images. You want to look for apparitions. Uh, just so you understand this, uh, let's say you do live in a haunted house as I grew up in. The difference between an apparition and a ghost is very simple. An apparition is somebody that you knew. Somebody that's visiting you. And a ghost you never met before in your life. You're just hanging out. Now, another amazing phenomenon you can capture is light energy, and that's powerful energy. And again, if you go to my website, you'll see all these phenomenons. But light energy is a streak of light, brilliant. And the key to that, when I show you the artwork I have, I, I create paranormal art. And what I do is I incorporate my captures of the paranormal onto original canvases. The photographs are limited. The canvases are original. And I'm going to give you examples of exactly what these phenomenons are. So stay tuned for that.